I have a very interesting message to share with you today, and it's about spirit animals. When I moved to Sedona like eight years ago, my friends, the Native American friends that I had, constantly asking me, so, have you found your spirit animal yet? And I quite didn't understand what they mean. I didn't know much about spirit animals. I thought it was like my favorite animal. I have many, starting with the hummingbird. It's not quite like that. When you meet your spirit animal, they will share with you a message. There will be something for you to learn. And I'm like, I was really curious about it. So I, was, I kept asking, you know, if I meet a snake, I would say, are you my spirit animal? If I met a bird, I am my spirit animal. If I met um, javalinas, we have many javalinas here, and one day I saw a herd, and the javalinas, they look like pigs, but they are actually connected with a rhino. So I asked the javalinas, are you guys my spirit animal? And nothing happened. So I kept on my quest of finding my spirit animal, and I, I knew it would show up sometime, but I just didn't know how. So one day, I had a dream. I dreamed with a whale. I was in the ocean, and this dream was so vivid, like was it was real. And the whales were like doing that dance that they do in the ocean, you know, like jumping really high, over speeding from their back, and really, you know, just showing it off to me. And I was just mesmerized, and that was the dream. So guess what? I woke up, and my husband, Bruce, asked me, hey, do you want to go to Seattle to watch whales? I looked at him and I said, were you in my dream? And he didn't know what I was talking about. But then I, I said, yes, let's go watch whales. And, and I was like, maybe the whale is my spirit animal. And I got a confirmation of, about this when after I went to Seattle, watched the whales, came back about three weeks after the dream, I was hiking in Sedona and I had this download, this message that said, stop playing small. You are big. You are as big as me, a whale. And I said, what? Yes. And also overspill. Be powerful because you are powerful. And I was like, oh my God. I was going through a few insecurities. I was about to start my sessions in Sedona in the land where I take people on a, I call a hiking therapy for empowerment. And I was insecure about how I would show up. I was insecure about my accent uh, from Brazil. I thought like people are not going to understand me, you know, really feeling small. And the whale, the whale message was exactly for that, for me to stop playing small, to start expanding. So I, I, I actually start doing this exercise, like I'm big, I'm big, as big as the whale, you know, I can conquer the world. So I start doing this self-affirmation uh, exercise with embodiment, right? Feeling like I'm the whale, the whale got my back, you know? And then all of a sudden everything changed and I start taking pe people on hikes and, you know, helping so many people to feel empowered. And I always think like the whales got my back and it's so profound this connection that I have with the whale now that when we bought my Jeep, right? I wanna show you here the Jeep. I made sure to put a sticker because it is my mountain chamois. Yes, yeah, so when you come here to Sedona and you hike with me, first thing you're gonna experience is coming in the Jeep right and the jeep is already your place of transformation because shamu doesn't kid around okay he really makes you powerful so your transformation start with shamu here in sedona and myself and that's my story now i want to hear from you i want you to tell me uh do you believe in spirit animals have you ever met any Native American that told you the stories about spirit animal? What is your experience with spirit animal? What do you think of this? Share in the comments below and let's continue on our conversation. And remember, if this made sense to you, maybe Shamu also is a message for you. A message for you to stop playing small, be big, embrace your authentic self, just like I did. Be you, come out. 
and everything else would change.